How's it going guys? So we finally have chapter 169 and we actually get some theories that a lot of us in the community have been speculating from last chapter get confirmed in this one. So why don't we just get right into it? So the chapter starts off with Garo as he's having his power leak out of his cosmic Garo shell. It's made pretty apparent that that knock that Saitama gave to him in the face was a pretty heavy hit because it took him out in one shot and he seems pretty down for the count at this point. We then see that he gets surrounded by a lot of the people that were present when he first appeared as Cosmic Fear Garo, kind of surrounding him and looking like they're about to teach him a lesson now that they see that he's weakened. So while this is happening, we actually cut back to Saitama and Jen as we see them talk about the second core that Saitama brought back and what appears to be happening here is that Genos is connecting this core to his brain so he can download all of the information that it recorded. This is when we see Genos have this like huge flood of memories flow into his brain and it shows that he actually is aware of everything that happened after he died even. So he's aware of Cosmic Fear Garo killing everybody and tearing out his heart and he's also aware aware about the fight that they had on IO and in outer space so I think that's pretty interesting I know that in one of the videos I made talking about Genos's core I predicted that Genos would somehow be able to download this information to his brain and be aware of everything that's happened and this wasn't like an original idea of mine that's something that a lot of people in the community have speculated so it's kind of nice to see that at least someone is aware of all the insane things that happen and Genos will more than likely fill Saitama in. So Geno starts talking about what he's discovered and as he's explaining this to Saitama, of course, in his Geno's way, he kind of just goes into this like long winded exposition about what happened or how he's able to download this data. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see once we get the English translations for this. And then we see that it quite literally goes in one ear and out the other for Saitama. So they continue their conversation and it seems that Genos is just wondering about how amazing and incredible Saitama is because he looks, you know, both happy and content. And immediately after that, our attention gets brought to Terio, who is still passed out a little ways away. And as he's waking up, he gets startled by this like ghost image of Garo looking at him with a smile. And as he's looking at him, that ghost image starts crumbling away. So I'm not really sure what this means. There is a possibility that a piece of Garo or some of Garo's like existence or whatever you want to call it, soul, got transported to that timeline as well. So it's kind of nice that, you know, the, the future Garo that sacrificed himself is able to see what, what he's done, what he's achieved, you know, saving Terio and saving all these people and, and righting his wrongs. So again, this is like an incredible ending to Garo's character arc. I'm a little upset that he doesn't remember it in his current self, you know, his alive form, but at least we saw it happen. At least we saw the full face turn and the full character arc get brought about with, with this future Garo. So I'm not upset, I guess. So Terio of course thinks that this is like a dream or he's hallucinating but we cut back to Garo just getting the crap beat out of him by all the people that were there and they all just start ganging up on him and as this is happening we see the S-Class heroes Metal Bat, Amai Mask, and Flashy Flash start to have a conversation which I'm assuming is about going over there to just finish Garo off for good. So as Garo continues to receive this beating and has Saitama, Silver Fang, and Zombie Man watching, Zombie Man finally decides to step in and confronts Garo which we're not sure what he asked him yet but Garo obviously has like a negative response to this as he just kind of gives this evil smile and I'm assuming just keeps sticking to his absolute evil story to which my mask is obviously not having it and he attempts to deliver a finishing blow to him but this is when Terio jumps in and grabs onto a my mask leg and begs him not to kill Garo because if this follows along with what happens in the webcomic he goes on to explain to a my mask that he was saved by Garo multiple times and that he's not a villain he's a hero and that he's a good person so King's listening to all this and he's just kind of observing and as a my mask and Terio begin to have this back and forth king approaches the other people that were beating on garo previously and kind of intimidates him with his you know king presence and gets them to disperse because we literally see that they split in half to make way for king so what i'm assuming is happening here is that king is coming to the side of garo to to spare him to not kill him and as he says this we see silver fang and saitama share some words in which saitama seems to be explaining how garo actually saved people how he actually was the one that defeated 
undefeated Platinum S and Evil Natural Ocean. And while this is going on, we just see Garo have a small grin on his face and when nobody is noticing, suddenly flees. So to everyone's surprise, he just vanishes and escapes. So as we all speculated, guys, Garo will be alive to fight another day, which is great. You know, I always love me some Garo action plugged into the story. But once he escapes, we see that one of Metal Knight's robots shows up in this like drill excavator form out of the ground. And then we see many of his other robots showing up to the scene to do what I can only assume is collect more data to collect the dead monsters that are scattered around for data to collect the scraps of anything that might be valuable for his research. You know, we all know that Metal Knight's usually not a very openly kind person. He kind of just seems to be thinking in terms of advancing his research. So he more than likely isn't there to help people or anything. But in the final panel of this chapter, we see Garo picking up Genos's torso and looking off into the sunset or sunrise, not sure which one it is. And he looks a little upset. And if this follows what the webcomic says, this is where he kind of realizes like, man, like all this has happened and what do I get out of it? Like my house is gone. And yeah, that's where the chapter ends. You know, this hasn't been one of those super exciting action filled chapters that we've been used to the past like three or four chapters. But I think it was nice to start kind of wrapping up this arc. But, you know, I think we will probably have another chapter that completely wraps up this arc because we still have to have the whole psychos lingering around there, thing get cleared up and kind of get a pulse on everyone else that was affected by this whole major event. But yeah, you know, glad that Garo's still alive. Glad that at least somebody remembers everything that happened in the prior timeline or the future, I guess you could say. So no complaints here on this chapter. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's a bummer that Saitama and Garo don't seem to have any direct memories of what happened? Do you guys feel weird about the whole like ghost Garo popping up and saying goodbye to Terio for the last time? Or did you enjoy the chapter like I did? And it was a kind of a nice way to start wrapping things up. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I do really appreciate you guys sharing your thoughts on every one of my videos it definitely gives me a lot to think about and if you enjoyed me getting you this chapter review out so fast please make sure to subscribe and like this video because i do put out one punch man chapter reviews almost immediately after the chapter happens and i'll also be having a video covering the english translations either later today or tomorrow so make sure to turn notifications on so you won't miss that but until next time i'll see you guys later